Hey guys, welcome to Drew Brew. We're gonna do a quick beginner tutorial on how to make helmets. This one's gonna be a Trojan style. So uh, basically what we need to do first is get the shape of the head correct. And we, we get there by making an oval and uh, basically making the right size. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut it in half because we need the skull shape to work with. And we're gonna revolve it around the center point so that we can have a 3D object. And you could have just revolved it halfway and uh, skip the step I do next, but I just, I prefer to do it this way. That way I have the center view, whatever I need. But anyways, we're gonna extrude that. And now we have our basic helmet shape. Uh, well, you can't wear this yet since it's not empty, but we're gonna go ahead and shell it later. For now, we're gonna change the color to make it look a little bit like metal. And we're gonna start working with that by cutting it in half which typically is a good idea just because you don't have to do the same work twice if you're making something that's symmetrical. But uh, in this case, it wasn't absolutely necessary since I'm doing only a little bit of work here, but just it's a tip to keep in mind for the future. And one of the reasons we cut it in half is so that we can have a plane to work on so we can offset that edge because we're creating a fin. So that's the main reason I did that. Um, Anyways, uh, what we're going to do is use a couple splines to make that uh, shape that we want to make it look sharp and intimidating. And uh, you can add more points to the spline by just pressing and holding anywhere on the line, but typically you're pretty good with three points. Uh, so get the shape you want, it doesn't have to be exactly like mine. And then make sure you go ahead and close off the bottom sketch. That way when we extrude our body, and make sure it's a new body when you extrude, suck that blue point but with new body uh, that way when we do union later it's gonna connect uh, into one piece because if you just extruded the top sketch without closing it off on the bottom uh, then you would have had to replace face or extrude just to make it match up to the bottom of the helmet anyways uh, moving on from there we don't need that sketch anymore so we're gonna delete it and now we're gonna go ahead and make um, the fin a little bit thicker by just mirroring the whole thing over and uh, this is also an example of why you should just do one side in symmetrical objects because you could just copy over the other side and save yourself a lot of work. But anyways, now we're gonna go ahead and sketch uh, the face that we're gonna want. And I'll show you a couple tricks here that you can use. I mean, you can sketch any kind of face you want, but make sure you don't cut it out or subtract it until we do the shell. Okay, so I just did some basic things here like I said, you can do any shape you want, but I'm just trying to match uh, one of the helmets I saw somewhere online. Uh, not, not, not perfectly, but just to show you how it's done. So we basically go ahead and move around those points to get the shape we want. So splines are perfect for that. I really like them. As you can see, they're very adjustable and sketches are typically easier to work with than 3D models. So I would suggest you sketch it out before you go ahead and work on it because it, when you get into a 3D model, there's a lot of math involved and just try to do as much as you can in sketches first. So we need to mirror our eyes, that way we don't have to repeat the same thing there. And then also sometimes if you do it by hand, it's a little bit different. So mirroring is typically the best thing to do. Now we're gonna go ahead and shell it. And uh, that's too thick, so we're gonna go ahead and that's too thin, so a little bit more than that. Um, and as you notice, I've already unioned everything and I went ahead and shelled it together but typically you want to separate your helmet and your fin uh, so you can shell your helmet and then union your fin onto it and you can just always subtract the piece but anyways we go ahead and extrude that sketch and now we have our face and our helmet is basically complete if you haven't unioned at this point go ahead and union now we can view our image and we can take away the background so we can just view the item and then let's go ahead and remove that sketch from the scene as well and there we go uh, this is a basic uh, helmet it took only like five minutes to sketch. Uh, there can be so much more complexity, but that's all on you. You can go ahead and try that. Let me know in the comments if you liked it. And if you haven't, uh, go ahead and subscribe and like this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.